In this video, I will demonstrate the process of installing a Cassandra node on a Linux-based machine and how to begin working with the Cassandra query language, or CQL. To download Cassandra, you may visit datastacks.com. Datastacks supports businesses get started and administer the Cassandra implementations. They also offer tutorials and certification programs. And as you can see below, Netflix is one of their biggest customers and early adopters of Cassandra. In this video, we will download the Community Edition version of Cassandra instead of the full Enterprise Edition. Click on Download Data Stacks. Scroll down and click here. At this point, you want to select the install package for your specific operating system. In this case, we'll be using the Unix and Mac OS X 10 package. You may go ahead and close this download form and you should be able to download the package. Once the download is complete, you will have the following package on your destination folder. In this case, it's our desktop. This package can be unzipped by right clicking and clicking on the archive utility. That will give us the following folder, which essentially contains Cassandra. Before you begin running Cassandra, you might want to visit the Datastax installation page for Cassandra. This um, is a checklist where you can make sure you have all the prerequisites in order to have a successful um, running version of Cassandra. Most importantly, you need to make sure that you have the latest JDK and JRE installed on your machine. And if you follow these steps below, you can also um, install Cassandra. And uh, in this case, we'll only be using Cassandra on one node, so we don't need to set up multiple node clusters or configure machines for multiple node cluster support. Um, we will only be running one instance of Cassandra. So go back to the desktop. So we're ready to run Cassandra and the first step will be to open a new terminal window. At this point you need to navigate to the Cassandra folder which is in my desktop and navigate to the bin directory. To double check that you are in the correct directory you can type ls and you should be able to see the Cassandra executable there. At this point you want to run Cassandra dash F dash F just keeps all the uh, processes in the foreground so you can see uh, that Cassandra is running. Hit enter and Cassandra is booting up while this is loading, you can go ahead and open another terminal window. And now navigate to the CQL shell, which also is in the bin uh, directory of Cassandra. To check that you're in the correct directory, you can type ls, hit enter, and you should, should see cqlsh, and you may begin running that. And if you see the following, that means Cassandra is successfully running in the background, and you are now in the cql shell. So CQL is very similar to a lot of the syntax in your traditional SQL syntax. In fact, many of the commands look exactly the same. So we type help, you can see that many of the commands are fairly similar. Um, drop table, drop key space, create table, um, and we have the traditional select from where syntax as well to perform queries. I will run through a simple um, creation of a key space. In Cassandra, a key space is 
mm, the sort of the environment um, where, where your tables would be in, in. Um, this is where you set the replication factor and many of the other settings that can be uh, configured by Cassandra so that is the first step so we can enter here create key space um, CQL test with replication this is this um, enables the defaults and you can set the replication factor to be um, any number you like really in this case since we're only running on one machine and and so one node we can only really replicate once um, but you can replicate as many times as you like here change to five but it won't really do anything at this point hit enter and that has created a key space so any tables that are created within this key space will ha will run under this simple strategy and will can will be replicated five times now we can begin creating tables inside this key space we can use cql test and write something very similar to an SQL create table uh, command so we're gonna create a table called university with student ID as the primary key Let me make this screen bigger first name is a variable character last name the same major department the same if we run that we now have a university table now we want to begin entering data into this table so we use an insert into university student ID so we have to enter all the columns um, Cassandra is a column based uh, database so it is very important that you name the columns where your data will be entered and you say you want to enter certain values the primary key is one in this case and we're entering Fred Smith and he's in the engineering department that completed successfully you can go ahead and enter another entry we have to change the primary key to two or any other integer that you'd like change this to Daniel uh, it's also in engineering and hit enter and just like SQL you can select from sorry select asterisk to show us all of the entries from university enter and it will show us all of our entries so far similarly we can update so if we change this to um, update university set major department equals comp psi where student id equals 2 and if you run that there's been an update and we can go ahead and run the select from university and there's our update so I hope this helps you get started with um, CQL and how straightforward it is to start working with Cassandra although this is just a single node implementation um, it can help you uh, understand Cassandra a little better um, and uh, data stacks offers a plethora of documentation in regards to anything else you'd like to do in Cassandra um, this is the end of this video thanks